Welcome back. We are heading towards the 2020 November general election. That's right. And the safest option for voting is to vote by mail. Telling us how to exactly vote by mail is Champaign County Clerk Aaron Ammons, who has launched the Safe Vote Coalition. Welcome, Mr. Ammons. We appreciate you this Tuesday. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me. You bet. Just to start off here, are there any myths you'd like to debunk this morning when it comes to voting by mail? Yes, there's quite a few things that um, become myths through this process, but voting by mail has been around since the Civil War, so it's not new. Uh, we also uh, want to share that um, voting by mail and absentee voting are the same thing. A lot of people try to get that confused, but it, it's, it's the same thing. And so, we, like I said, we've been voting by mail since the Civil War, so this is not new. Millions of Americans have done it all across the country for the last 20 years. So there's been a lot of back and forth about uh, mail-in voting, and why do you think that certain elected officials are against it? Well, well, because it increases the turnout across the board in all demographics, and historically the Republican Party has uh, benefited from low voter turnout, and I think they're concerned that this is going to increase the turnout uh, and it's going to hurt their chances uh, in 2020 and also going forward. So I think that's what's behind it. Can you explain to us what some of the benefits are to casting your ballot by mail right now? Well, one of the things is that you get to really take your time and, and look at the information, look at the candidates and the referendum questions that are on there and do some research. Mm -hmm. But most importantly for us through the Safe Vote Coalition is that it's the safest way to vote. You don't have to come in contact with anyone. You're going to keep yourself safe, the uh, election judges safe, and prevent the spread of COVID-19 uh, during this, this time of this pandemic. So those are some of the, the main reasons. It's very convenient. Uh, you can take your time and sit at home in your favorite chair and, and, and fill out your ballot and then send it back. And you're lazy boy, right? So you mentioned, <laughs> um, you mentioned that anybody can vote by mail. So is Champaign County prepared to deal with possibly a record turnout of people casting their ballots by mail hmm. this year? Well, Christy, we are preparing daily. It's, uh, it's a very detailed uh, or detail oriented process. It's intense. Uh, we've bought new equipment. We have a new mail sorter. We have a new uh, letter opener. We've got new more election judges doing more work than they've ever done before. Uh, in essence, we're running two elections. We have to run the vote by mail election with all of the new uh, access that we have. And we still have 12 early voting locations and over 85 polling locations on election day. So it's quite a task, but we are up for the challenge. We just ask for people to be patient with us, but continue uh, making sure everybody get out and vote. And Mr. Ammons, I know a lot of people who only cast their ballots by mail, and I know a lot of people who only go in person. Can you explain to us, for somebody who has never voted by mail, how can you request uh, mail-in ballots? Yeah, so you can go to our website, champaigncountyclerk.com, and fill out the application online. It's very quick, very easy, uh, and also, you can uh, fill out the paper application that we mail to you. So you can fill that out and return it to us. And either way, we'll get you in our queue and you will be ready to go. And your ballot will be mailed out to you starting on September 24th. Now, we will say request early, return early. The sooner you request your application, you'll be a part of that first group of people who will get the first wave of ballots to come out. So request early and return them early. It helps everyone if you do that. And that goes along with our next question, Aaron, because a lot of people who have already filled out that application are wondering why they haven't gotten their ballot yet, but that's just because you cannot send them out yet. That's right. We cannot send them out until, uh, start sending them out until September 24th. Now, some of the people who are overseas and military people, they get theirs about a week before that. We can mail them a week earlier than that. But all of us who are here stateside and uh, in the country, you can't mail them out until September 24th. And recently, so there, there was also an issue. Oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you there. There was also an issue with a wrong zip code in the in the past here, not too terribly long ago, for some of those mail-in applications. Yeah. Can you clarify yeah. that's what you were able to do moving forward? Yeah, due to our quick response on this and our work with the local postmaster, they flagged those, and uh, it has not been an issue uh, going forward. We're still receiving those envelopes by the hundreds daily. Okay, and so for people who may have just moved here or those college students who are in Champaign County, uh, what recommendations do you have for them as far as the mail-in ballots go? Yeah. Register as soon as possible. Uh, fill out your vote by mail as soon as possible because you do have to live here in Champaign County at your current address for 30 days to establish your residency so you can vote. 
So we want to make sure that they uh, register as soon as possible, and then that way, that way they can uh, participate in the uh, election here coming up in November, or they can start on September 24th if they so choose. And just a little follow-up question here as well. Is there a way to make sure that your vote was counted? I know that a lot of elected officials have mentioned uh, right now that, you know, casting your ballot by mail, it's not necessarily the best option right now. Um, a lot of experts are saying otherwise, but is there something out there where they can check to see that their ballot was counted? Yeah, right now we're working with a company to try to see if we can follow those ballots in the way that they do through the mail service. Uh, it's just a lot more detail-oriented than people realize. But right now, what you can do on our website through that portal that you all put up earlier, you can see where it'll show that you have requested your uh, application or sent your application in to us already. There's going to be another little check bar that's going to say sent when we actually mail your ballot to you. And then there'll be a final check mark that will say received when we have received your ballot. So the voters will be able to go to that portal and check out the where their ballot is in the process. Uh, and we're hoping to get something a little more detail-oriented as we move forward in future elections. Very cool. And now those voters can expect that after September 24th, like you said, and they have up until November 3rd to actually uh, cast their ballot. Correct. Uh, anyone who's going to do vote by mail, your ballot must be postmarked by 11-3 or sooner, and it has to arrive in our office prior to on or before November 17th. There's a 14-day window for those ballots to uh, to make their way to us after November 3rd. So if they don't make it to us before November 17th, we can't count it. And if it's postmarked after November 3rd, we cannot count it. So we really encourage people to use the drop boxes that we are going to have up across Champaign-Urbana and seven different locations. Uh, that's the best way to return your ballot. And Mr. Ammons, I just have to ask really quickly here, what kind of feeling has it been in the elections office there to be able to accommodate so many people through such a trying time? I'm sure every day is something different and exciting, so to speak. Uh, what's it like for you well, there? Thank you for that question, because I say to all the election judges and even to the staff, these are heroes and heroines on the front line, just like other front line workers. We are essential. We have to be here. We see thousands of people walk through our doors. Well, we saw thousands on in March 17th at the primary, and our election judges in some of the high-volume areas, they are exposed to people. And so these folks are on the front lines, and it's difficult sometimes. Uh, people are making decisions that are in their best interest and in the best interest of the community when they decide not to serve. But we also have some very courageous people to say, hey, I'm going to put myself on the front line and come up here and serve. So I always like to shout out my staff. They do an amazing job here doing the best that we can to serve the people of Champaign County. It's been a difficult time for everyone. Thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you all for having me. Have a great day. You too. Adam has your forecast next. We'll be right back.